All right, it's me again. So about after a half hour of farting around with this thing, I want to show you what I do. So here, you can see on the closest side of the front of the engine, I welded a nut to the stud, a nut to the stud. Here, a washer to the existing stud because it was so low, and then a nut to that washer. A washer to that stud, a nut to that. Okay, a little further up, just a nut there. Depends on what's exposed is how I service these. And then all the way in the front here, at the back of the engine, kind of like what a dentist will do is he'll grind away a surface, a surface to expose what he can actually work with. So I use a carbide and some PB blaster and work my way around that. And then I tack weld a stud or a screw or a bolt or whatever is in my hands to the existing piece that's inside the cylinder head. So then at that point, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to reach inside of here from an extension. And usually they get that so hot and cools off pretty fast that you can just turn the stud, what's left inside the cylinder head, completely out. These cars are so old anymore, these expeditions with the 5.4s and 4.6. Right, so there's your old piece out, done. Clean up the holes, put all new hardware in this. The other ones are all loose and ready to come out. A lot of the corrosion and rust builds up inside the cylinder head around the threads, which really makes it hard. So that's loose. They're all done. So I'll pull this all out, I'll clean it up, and then whatever that recessed machined away part is in the cylinder head, uh, you'll use red RTV, bolt it back together, and this will last another 10, 20 years. But by then, this thing will be in the scrapyard recycle.